First, we're uncovering new details about a sex trafficking operation that police say included a girl not even old enough to drive. We first told you about it on Eyewitness News at 530 over on WPRI 12. Our cameras were in court as the woman police say was the ringleader faced the judge accused of using a 14 year old as a prostitute. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has been pouring through court documents. She joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with what she's uncovered tonight. Well, Pawtucket Police began investigating a missing teenager case months ago, but that case quickly turned into a sex trafficking operation involving that 14-year-old teenager and a 21-year-old woman who's now accused of being the leader. 21-year-old Nicole Ferreira has never been charged with a crime in her life until now. Two felony charges and a misdemeanor. Pawtucket police claim Ferreira was the leader of a sex trafficking operation. The investigation began when a 14-year-old girl was reported missing in August and was later determined she ran away from her Pawtucket residence. Investigators began doing research and found ads of the teen on Backpage.com. Eyewitness News obtained the affidavit which claims, quote, the female juvenile was identified by facial photos and a tattoo located on her body. After doing more research, an undercover detective posed as a customer, responded to the ad, and met at a Providence hotel. That's where they caught up with Ferreira, who admitted to knowing the 14-year-old girl and told detectives, quote, I know she's young. I don't do anything. I just post the info and take the calls. Ferreira told detectives she thought the teen might be staying at a house in Cranston. Police found the teen there where she admitted after she ran away, a female asked if she wanted to make some money. The affidavit goes on to say, quote, she agreed and soon was getting paid to have sex with men. According to the affidavit, the teen told investigators within the span of 45 days, Ferreira set up about 40 to 50 meetings to have sex with men. The affidavit describes Ferreira as the madam who the teen told investigators, quote, she is the person that sets the ads, prices, makes appointments and drives her to and from the plays. And Ferreira is being charged with two felony accounts, one misdemeanor count. She's also being held on $50,000 bail, and she's ordered not to have any contact with a 14-year-old teenager. She will be back in court February 4th. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.